I got this new couch. I had a white faux leather futon for a while, which by the way, it's the craziest thing. But I've been trying to sell it for a while. I wanted to try it. I wanted to sell it before I bought a couch. So I'm like, I have the money. I have the space. Now I'm going to get a couch. But I found this couch at a thrift store and I had a coupon and it was 70 bucks. And it was so meant to be. God is so real. I promise you, like, you need to get more involved in whatever faith you are. I'm a Christian. Whatever you are, get more involved because good things are going to happen to you. So this is a $70 couch from a thrift store with my coupon. 70 flat, okay? I already have my eye on it. I'm already going to spend my own money on it. Um, I asked my grandpa to borrow his truck because, you know, he got a super cute, nice pickup truck. Um, and I needed it. So I go to his house to pick up the truck so I can go get the couch. And he says, hey, I have this for you. It's from one of my clients. It's for you. He's a vet, for those of you who don't know. And he's an amazing person. How he blesses other people, he totally gets blessed back. So this is from the VN family and ginger thank you guys so much if you watch my videos um huge thumbs up to you but they probably don't they gave me 50 dollars. i've never met them they must follow at least my nani on instagram and know about my pageants or something maybe 50 bucks which hello i'm buying a 70 dollar couch 50 bucks is pretty nice mm -hmm. and so on top of that i'm like i'm opening it in front of my grandpa and i'm like oh my gosh how, who do I know them and he's like no you don't I don't think you've met them or anything and they just it's just something they gave to you and I was like oh my god the couch I'm getting is only 70 bucks and this is 50 so it's, I'm getting a $20 couch slips me at 20 I got a free couch I felt so blessed anyways so this is actually a pure one couch and I think it runs around $300 and I got it for 70 basically for free only problem is like it has a few little snags like this but that's no big issue there's no stains nothing's broken and i think it's super cute the first thing i got is something for a special little boy it's a squeaky oh wait it's not a... oh no it doesn't squeak well it's a bouncy ball it's a bouncy whoa it's a really bouncy ball <gasps> he loves it ready go get it Oh my goodness, having a one bedroom apartment. You love it? Yay! My happy boy. Anytime you go to the store, if you can buy at least one thing for someone else, I think that's like a good little small act of kindness, even if it's just your pet. It makes you feel so much better about spending way too much money. I'm sorry, I'm so starving. I should have had dinner like two hours ago. But I was at Walmart and now I'm filming this. <gasps> These vegan oatmeal chocolate chip cookies from Trader Joe's are like super good. I was just opening this and I'm pretty sure like this is like a black knife. Like this looks like a chalkboard basically. Um, I didn't know this was a thing. I'm kind of concerned like if I'm cutting things is this black stuff going to start chipping off or anything? <laughs> Or has visited my home knows I have this super weird thing okay I don't own any normal cups I have a mug collection like none other I have my guest mugs although Noah decided that this is his mug every time he comes over I just like had a super big obsession with mugs I just loved how unique they were <laughs> myself for finally buying because your girl's been living way too long without a decent one of these it's a can opener i got a normal like handheld one but hello the handles are cushioned and like this thing is cushioned and super pleasurable to actually use and the little gritty cutter in groove thingies are super long and sharp and i'm so excited because i've been using this bad boy this has to be from the 90s i would guess my mother definitely handed this down to me back when i moved out 
finally moving on. <laughs> last time I started recording this it is now 4 a.m. and I'm usually in bed around 9 so it's so super late for me and I'm sure you guys can tell I had to take a break I made dinner and then I edited a whole video before this which was supposed to be part of this but I ended up talking way too much so I had to make it its own video so if you haven't seen that one already, make sure you check it out. Let me know in the comments down below if you like all of the things I got. There's so many little improvements and more little things I want to upgrade and buy and make everything cute. The bedding and the curtain I got makes me feel more like I'm living in a little cottage. I'm definitely happy. It feels way more princessy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go shower and go to sleep hopefully before the sun comes up and hopefully i wake up before noon tomorrow because i hate sleeping in late subscribe for more go watch my other videos follow me on instagram all that stuff and have a blessed day